This is problem number six from section 3.4. In this problem, they say the accompanying figure shows the velocity V equals D of, D of S over DT in meters per second of a body moving along a coordinate line. When does the body reverse direction? So let's take a look at where it reverses direction. So we know that a body reverses direction anytime its velocity hits zero. So if we look, we start at velocity zero, it's increasing velocity till it gets up to four meters per second. Now it's decreasing velocity here. And then when velocity hits zero, that's when it's gonna switch direction. So we're gonna say for part A that this happens at two seconds and all right, we're reversing direction here and then now it's going the opposite direction and then it reverses direction again at seven seconds. So two seconds and seven seconds is when the velocity hits zero, and that's when you're going from a negative velocity to a positive velocity. You're switching direction there. So that's part A. Part B, when is it moving at a constant speed? Well, it's not moving constantly anywhere here where we have some slope, but we have a constant speed here, and that would be at time equal three to time equals six seconds. That's where it's got its uh, constant speed. Graph the body speed for zero less than or equal to t less than or equal to 10. So then once to graph the speed, this is the velocity, remember? So this has a direction. Well, if we're talking speed, we can't have a negative speed. Negative speed, we, it doesn't occur. We, it, we can have a negative velocity because this is interpreting direction. So this is going opposite direction of this here. So if we're gonna graph this, uh, the speed graph, all we have to do is, instead of having our graph being graphed below uh, zero meters per second, we need to instead at this point, if this is the speed graph, this point, instead of going below, it would actually start coming back up here. So I'm just gonna graph this piece that's underneath this line above the line. So this goes down to negative four, so that means that the speed would be at four here. This would be at, uh, this is at negative four at six, time equals six, so we're gonna put that here. And then we can just connect the dots. And so our speed graph would look like just the above portion. That'd be our speed graph up here. <clears throat> now for the, for the acceleration, which they ask us for in part D, well, they want us to graph the acceleration of this thing. We just need to find the individual accelerations, individual accelerations here. So if I'm going from zero for speed to four for speed in one second, four minus one, my acceleration is four. So I'm going to go ahead and say that my my acceleration would look like so here. And you would have probably an open dot here on this side. I kind of closed that dot, but there's your acceleration there for that part. The acceleration here uh, would be, this is actually going down, right? We're slowing down during this time. So my acceleration here is negative. So I'm gonna say that it's going from open dot to open dot here and this would be at negative four. And I know that's the case because we have the same slope, just opposite slope, right? We're going down four over one, down four over one. So that means my acceleration is at negative four. This is a uh, constant speed here. So the acceleration is going to have zero acceleration from here to here, right? We're not accelerating at all. We have a constant velocity, which means our acceleration is flat lined. And then, we're gonna go up from here to here, and that's an acceleration of four meters per second positively. And then finally, we're gonna go uh, have an acceleration from uh, eight seconds to 10 seconds, where we drop four over two seconds. So this is actually an acceleration of negative two meters per second squared. Right, we're going down, right? This is four going down four over two, so that's going down 
uh, 4 meters in 2 seconds, so that's a negative 2 meters per second squared uh, acceleration.